everyone and welcome back. I am so glad that you guys came over to see this grocery haul. Hey everyone, welcome back. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see this grocery haul. Let me tell you, it has been a day full of shopping. I couldn't get my husband into another store even if I wanted to. We actually went to Costco and I'll link that up here. And then we decided to get the rest of our stuff at a store called Lids, which is kind of like an Aldi. It's like a discounted store um, that has a lot of fresh, really good stuff. And then anything we couldn't get there or we didn't think it was a very good price, we headed on over to Walmart, got the rest of it. And so we are stocked up. So this is a little bit bigger of a haul than I usually do. This is a little bit more than I usually spend but because we just moved like legit a week ago this was our first shopping trip since we moved and I really needed to just stock up and get everything you know how it is when you move you can't move everything and you just kind of end up going through everything so we really pared down to the bare minimum before we moved and so this is kind of us stocking up getting restocked I have a good like probably somewhere about 15 to 17 meals and that will be great because I think I counted and I needed somewhere like 16 ish and St. Patrick's stays in there so it's gonna feed my family for a really really long time and I'm actually hoping that I can push it maybe a little bit further than that even because it was so much so I will show you guys what we got at Walmart so this is all of the groceries that we did get at Walmart. We did get a bunch of household items as well that I will link here in a different kind of a haul because today just seemed like we needed everything, groceries and households. So this is the Walmart and then I'll show you guys the lids haul as well. So over here, it's actually just this half that is part of my Costco haul that I haven't got to, haven't got to put away, but we'll get there, it'll be okay. Uh, we got some cashews for a recipe that I really wanted to try. I actually tried it at somebody's house and they gave me the recipe. It's like a Thai chicken crock pot recipe. And if I have made a video on it, I will link it here. It was so good, so I'm really excited. These were the cheapest cashews that I could find. Uh, this was just a splurge. I didn't want to buy too many snacks, but I got these because Walmart was our last place and I just kind of kept throwing stuff in the cart. Uh, mild salsa, we use this Green Mountain Gringo. This kind is awesome. It's so good. It's like our favorite salsa. And I can really only find it at Walmart or sometimes a local grocery store. Not all grocery stores carry it. Um, it's a little more expensive. It's like $3.74-ish usually. But, but the chimichangas I make, it makes all the difference to use this salsa. It's so good. <laughs> Two things of spaghetti sauce because... I could only find them at Walmart. I went ahead and got some potatoes because the potatoes at Lids didn't look very good. So this is just some red potatoes, no big deal. And we're gonna use those for soups and different things. I got two things of this side rice and I actually had one of these. I must have, I don't know, just picked up one randomly. And we had it the other night for dinner, and me and my husband just loved it. We thought it was really good, and it's so fast, you guys. These rice sides, oh my gosh. I don't know how great they are for you, but you can. I always make mine in the microwave. Oh my gosh. Game changer for a side dish, because sometimes you just want to be done with dinner. Uh, we are making some different, I guess you could say, Chinese food. And I have it made before, so I'm going to make egg roll in a bowl and some fried rice. And there's some different recipes that I'm going to make. So I got some wonton wrappers because I saw um, somebody, they just baked these and then kind of used them as like a scoop, almost like a chip for the egg roll in a bowl. So I got these. Uh, sesame seed oil, fish sauce, and soy sauce. Needed all of that for a couple different recipes. Um, we're going to make enchiladas. I actually have a, mess, a recipe that I kind of made up with enchiladas. And if I have a video about it, I will link it as well. But I just use this red sauce usually, the El Paso brand. Easy. I Just make sure you look for the mild. Refried beans for that as well. And 
two things of turkey. Usually I do this for tacos, as you can tell on the package. I just use this as tacos. Um, super easy. It's always a good meal. Always an easy meal. No problem. Over here, I got some peanut butter and jelly. Who would have thought you would run out of peanut butter and jelly? Um, I always have that stocked up, and I didn't. So I got some brand new ones. Um, went ahead and got some different rice. I had a recipe and it was calling for jasmine rice. and then, But for some reason I was thinking I need to buy basmati rice. Legit, did not know, was in Walmart and just bought both of them. I said, you know what, I'm going to try them and see what the difference is. Needed some more salt, so my husband got this kind. Um, my son is sometimes a little bit of a pill when it comes to lunches during homeschool and lunchables always go over good so i got some lunchables not enough for um you know the month or anything but just a few to get through when those days that he just doesn't feel like anything uh cottage cheese and this was just basically for me to eat uh, butter. I had some butter that I had bought in a previous haul from Publix, but I just wasn't sure I had enough to make it at least a month. So I got another thing of butter. My husband went and got some Frosted Flakes. And then what's funny about this is we got some from Lids, um, maybe, I guess two weeks ago. And he was like, you can taste the difference. And he is the guy that always tells me he can't taste the difference between name brand and off brand. So this was so funny. I went to go get something else and he came back with these. It was hilarious, but he never asks for anything. So Frosted Flakes it is. I uh, went ahead and got some on hand mac and cheese because every mom needs some on hand mac and cheese. Uh, started, uh, I started eating this yogurt in the morning and I actually really like it. I'm really a big fan of black cherry yogurt. I used to like black cherry soda back in the day, and I feel like, I don't know, I just really like this yogurt, so I tried some from Target the other day, and so I just got some more because I didn't want to run out. Got some tissues because we have more bathrooms in this new house. If you haven't seen my empty house tour, um, I actually have three and a half baths, so almost four, and so I wanted to have put some uh, tissues in all the bathrooms. I got, uh, this coleslaw is actually for egg roll in a bowl, and I got some flour tortillas. I actually never really buy this brand, but I didn't feel like looking for something else, and it was right there, so these will work for chimichangas. All right, y'all, this is part of my Lids haul. I spent $80 at Lids. Lids is great. If you, it's L-I-D-L. What is it called? I no? Think it's lids. it's like little. little? Littles? I think it's a Swedish. For some reason, I want to say it's Swedish, but I don't know. We don't know. But it was a new store to us. It reminds me kind of like an Aldi. They have really, really good prices. So everything I could get there, I tried. But I'll tell you guys, and I'll try to tell you all the pricing. So lids had her littles had all their these steamed vegetables and steamable things no they were all under a dollar it was amazing i can't remember off the top of my head what the corn was but i got two corns i got four green beans the reason i got four green beans is there were 57 cents like you can't even buy a can nowadays for that the block the broccoli florets were 99 cents and i had to like dig in the back to find the florets but I found them. That was fine. I think the green onions were like, they were less than a dollar. These French green beans were, I knew I could freeze these and they were like $1.99. But um, they looked really good to me. I got one thing of coleslaw there and I would have gotten two. It was a dollar something. But they didn't have it. And let me show you guys. This is the grocery store. L-I-D-L. Radishes were a pretty good price there. I think they were like a dollar. The breakfast, I got some breakfast sausage for the egg roll in a bowl. Um, I went ahead and got these Nor 
things there. I would have got the herb ones, but they only had chicken. They were still a dollar, same price as Walmart. Iceberg lettuce was like less than a dollar. I got these corn tortillas, 30 count. They were like a dollar 25. We'll see if they're good or not. I have no idea. This was a great, great deal. This small can, eight ounce can. I usually use these like two at a time, but it was only 19 cents. I have never seen it that low in my life, so I'm hoping that it tastes good. I uh, went ahead and got some cheese. That is for like the enchiladas is what I'm thinking. Uh, cauliflower, just basically just for me to eat. I was thinking too about making cauliflower soup, but it's not my guy's favorite, so it would just be for me. Um, these were super intriguing to me. They looked really good. So mini wontons. I don't know. They looked so good to me. So I decided to try those. They were less than $5. I think they were like $4.49. Uh, this is the milk that I've been buying. It's like a filtered kind of milk. And it helps everyone's stomach here feel so much better. So my guys struggle with that. And I have been buying the reduced fat. I used to buy the whole milk. Nobody knows the difference. So there you go. Some Texas toast. Um, this was about the same price as it is everywhere else. I want to say like $1.80. And that is for our spaghetti nights type of thing. These were something that I really, really wanted to try. Um, I had seen them there like a week ago because we went like a day or two after we moved and just got like breakfast stuff, nothing crazy. So I wanted to try these. So this one was actually like $5.99. It's a full pound of pork carnitas, which it looks like it's already cooked you just heat it up and I thought hey why not and I'm a fan of carnitas this is just considered like pork meat so it's like pulled pork so if you see that on a Mexican um, menu you'll know what carnitas means this one is actually a lot cheaper too it was $3.99 already done in barbecue sauce pulled um pork as well. I think they had chicken, but this one was only $3.99. So I wanted to try them both. They seem like easy, quick meals. And then I actually got these rolls to do with those. And so they actually didn't have very much of like a cheaper bread selection like Aldi, but they have nicer bread selections. So you'll see in a minute. But um, I ended up getting these kind of hoagie whirls for that. This is the other half of my lids haul. I told you guys, I had to stock up on everything. It was crazy. So lids had these hot dog buns that were whole wheat. And I don't know, they just looked, they kind of looked good. I don't know, I think they'll be good. And then I got these brioche ones for us to try. I have a whole pack of hot dogs in my freezer from Costco that I need to use up. So got those. There is some ginger right here, just a, a big chunk of it. And then that's for the Chinese food that I'm making. And this is a whole big thing of broccoli, this whole huge thing. And this was actually like 60 cents. This was about $3. I got some croutons. I wanted to try their croutons there. This We've been liking the Caesar ones. Um, there I actually picked up some Q-tips. Picked up some garlic there as well. I usually buy the already minced, and I have some of that in my refrigerator, but I had a recipe that wanted it like this, fresh, so got that. Got a can of evaporated milk. It was only 65 cents. I feel like that was a really good price in comparison to like Aldi and stuff like that, and in case I wanted to make bread in the next two weeks, I wanted to have this. I got some cooking spray. Um, the last one I bought was like the butter flavored, and I was noticing the other day that I didn't want to use that on everything, so I got this one. Um, these were less than a dollar a pack, and my kid loves these cookies. Oh my gosh, he calls them striped cookies. And so I thought, why not? Got him some of those as a little treat. Bacon for some salads, things like that. Sour cream for tacos and all the things. I was completely out of black pepper so I bought that there I don't know if this was a great price there it was like two dollars these I thought were 
really good. I want to say they were $1.50 each, but they were artichokes. And they were in a brine instead of, it doesn't look like it's an oil, but I could be completely wrong. I have no idea, but I had a salad the other day that had some and I really just was craving it. Found some tahini. This, oh my gosh, you guys, I have been looking and looking and looking for this. And I lived in a really small town before, so there was a lot of stuff you couldn't get. And so I was really excited. This was like $2. Super excited to make some dressings with that. And ended up getting these carrot chips because I couldn't find any regular bags of carrots. And I needed them sliced anyway for this Mongolian beef crock pot meal that I'm going to make. So, yep. Went ahead and got these. They were a little more expensive. They were like a dollar sixty. And let me tell you, when my husband saw these, he goes, ooh, that would be a good snack. So, like I told you guys in all my videos, carrots are a favorite in my house. They're like chips. So, this is all my lid stuff. So anyway, this was a huge grocery haul for me. I want to say that it was probably another like 200 ish dollars worth of food. So I probably spent somewhere around $300 worth of food for over two weeks of meals. And we eat like every meal here. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner because we homeschool. And yeah, so there is quite a lot, but we are completely blessed. And if you are interested in my household haul, I will link that here as well. I knew that I just needed tons of stuff when you move, so I'm going to do a separate household haul and show you guys everything. Thank you guys so much for coming over, for hanging out. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you all in my next brand new video. Bye for now.